tell us why you chose to sort of take this slice, this moment in time, which goes back to the beginning of the war, and tell the story, because the story's not done. It's still are going. I think Mariupol as a city, as a, uh, one of the events that happened in the beginning of the full-scale Russia's invasion in Ukraine is uh, extremely symbolic for Ukrainians and historically symbolic. <coughs> because being, being a strategically important city for Russia to try to take uh, from Ukraine, it's also had so much tragedy packed in there uh, in this short period of time, over three months. And being able to show this tragedy to the world um, means a lot to us. But <coughs> also, we feel, and we found out only later when we left Mariupol, when we broke out of the siege, we only then we found out how much what we did there and what happened there changed the world's perspective on the invasion. So it's also symbolic from that side. But throughout the, throughout the coverage, throughout these 20 days, the film is called 20 Days in Mariupol, throughout that 20 days we've been sending news dispatches, so quite short packages of videos, one minute, two minutes, uh, to the sending world. Them to sending them to putting them on YouTube. You're where you putting them? So associated, we work for for AP. Uh -huh. all, uh, all you guys work for AP, not the producers. Yeah, yeah, we are, the, we are we are AP team, and Michelle is with the front line. So the front when we left Mariupol, um, we took out safely around 30 hours, up to 30 hours of footage, and most of it wasn't published. And I felt that we need to do more about Mariupol. We felt quite guilty that we left and Mariupol was still under the siege. People were still dying every day. And um, I felt that we needed to do more. So collaboration with Frontline started and we assembled a film.